guys, my name is Anna Merlin and welcome to another episode. So it is officially fall and it's been a little while since I posted a video so I figured I would post three easy ways on how to make apples. We're gonna do some caramel apples, some of those like just candy coated apples, the red ones that you see, and we're gonna do some chocolate coated apples. So let's get on the video. All right, so we're gonna start off with our caramel apples and we are going to put one cup of sugar in a pan then add half a cup of water and one eighth of a cup of corn syrup. And once that's all done, you can turn on your stove to medium, medium high, and you're gonna wanna cook it till it reaches about 320, 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you can use a candy thermometer like I'm going to be using, but I actually ended up not, I just ended up taking it out because I thought it was just easier that way. And now you can just take sticks and stick them into your apples. And you can have any flavor, kind, anything that you would like. And like I said, again, I did use a candy thermometer, but then I ended up taking it out um, an easy way to tell when it's done is taking a cup with some cold water in it and pouring a little bit of the sauce into the um, cold water and if it hardens immediately then your caramel is ready. And that's the same for the cinnamon coated apples that I'm going to show you next. I used it as well. Caramel should take about 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes to make and you want to keep on swirling the sugar and mixture because you do not just want to stir it because it could mess with the crystals. And now you're going to turn off the stove when it's ready and you're going to add in half a cup of some heavy whipping cream and then you're going to add salt in and you can add as much or as little as you would like here and there's also an optional vanilla that you can add in but i didn't do that because i just prefer the flavor of the caramel as it is without it and then you're just going to stir it all up and then add in your apples now like you're going to see in a second um i couldn't get all my apples coated evenly so i ended up taking a spoon and just drooping caramel all over it it actually ended up making the caramel look really cool and then there was more to it and it tasted really good and you can do this again with any size or any apples any flavors and um this recipe i cut in half so it normally makes six apples and mine would have actually probably made four or five apples, but I just used it for three because that's all I had at the moment. And again, I am taking the caramel and just putting it onto the apple and drooping it on. It, like I said, they're really cool effects. You make really cool designs with like hot caramel. And this is the final product. The next apple we're gonna make is the cinnamon apple. And you're gonna take one cup of sugar and then a quarter of a cup of corn syrup and then the water really depends um the recipe calls for three quarters of a cup but like again i'm having everything so i just did about half a cup a little bit less than that and then you're going to want to add in cinnamon i added in one teaspoon of cinnamon but you could always do the cinnamon extract and that would probably be about half a teaspoon i think the regular cinnamon made it a little bit grainy so if you want a smooth maybe texture more so then i would use the extract and now i'm adding in just some food coloring you can add as little as much as you want these are supposed to be red apples so i ended up adding even more after I did this and you aren't supposed to mix this but I ended up mixing it because I knew that the cinnamon wouldn't get incorporated otherwise and now you're just gonna do the same process as you did before wait till it gets to 320 degrees Fahrenheit or 330 degrees between um, and you can check again with the cold water to see if it will harden or not And 
And again, you don't want to stir your mixture except for the fact that I did in the beginning of it. But if you can, try to avoid it unless you're using actual cinnamon. And then you're going to coat your apples the same way you did with the caramel. Finally, chocolate coated apples. It's as easy as dumping some chocolate in a bowl and putting it in the microwave. I actually ended up adding some white chocolate to the mix and you're just gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time until it's all melted. Mine took about a minute, minute and a half to melt, but it's all up to like your wattage of your microwave. So it might take a little bit longer. It might take a little bit less time. And then once you have your candy melted, you can just coat your apples. And you can do this in any style or fashion. I ended up running out of chocolate and not having enough, so I coated one apple. And then you'll see in the next clip that I ended up taking a piping bag, putting all the chocolate into the piping bag, and just piping on chocolate. And there are some really cool designs that you can make and some really cool droops. And it was a lot of fun. And you can add white chocolate. You can add sprinkles to the top. Walnuts, hazelnuts, almonds. Anything would be really, really good. As you can see, I've added my chocolate. And I'm just doing a little piping design. Make it simple. It doesn't need to be too complicated. And these would be really good for like a bake sale or really any type of fall event. These are perfect for fall, all of these apples. I highly recommend making them. My family enjoyed eating them. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked the videos. Here are the final products. They look amazing and you can do anything. I ran out of chocolate, so I just ended up kind of drooping it around the side, but you could put like white chocolate on. I know there's like strawberry chocolate now, like all these crazy ideas that you could totally pair with the apple. So it's been verified. My sister really likes the caramel apples. So thumb, two thumbs up from her. And if you really like cinnamon, then this is the perfect apple for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Also, quick little note. Don't forget that if you want to see any type of certain video or anything for me to make, please leave it in the comments down below. Bye.